Hey guys, welcome back to Hugs and Honey. I am Mama. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different, a little bit fun. Um, I think it's safe to say that we all love animals, right? Um, I know that you guys have loved to watch me walking dude and it's so fun to have a dog. I've also had many cats in my life um, and I love ha having animals around as pets to comfort me and to play with and to snuggle with and they're just the best, aren't they? Um, but what's fun is to pay attention to the differences between dogs and cats, for example, and how each animal sort of has their own personality and their own like characteristics and qualities. Like for example, a dog is generally known to be man's best friend, right? Very loyal, he's a companion, he's always there right by your side, he or she. Um, and they're just like our best friends. And cats, on the other hand, dude's here in the room with me and he just perked up when he heard me talking about him. Um, and cats, for example, are like independent and they, they're okay being by themselves. And then when they're ready and they want to, they'll come and pay attention to you, right? And they'll come snuggle with you. Um, and you know, each, each animal is different, but they all have their own little personalities. So one of the things that I really love to do sometimes, um, I'll either dream about an animal or I might come across an animal, um, that is kind of unusual to see. Um, the other day I took my kids to the San Francisco, um, we were looking at the Golden Gate Bridge overlook and a coyote came out of nowhere and was standing right there and came within a few feet of us. And I thought that was a really powerful experience. Um, and the other night, um, I was in the backyard talking with a friend of mine and a little red fox came to visit us. And this little red fox just came and stopped and stared at us. And we had like a little moment with him. And so I always find, I always put on my detective hat. I always get curious when that happens to me. Um, because I love to just wonder, you know, maybe that animal like has a message for me or is communicating with me in some way. Or maybe perhaps by seeing that animal, I can imagine the characteristic and qualities of that animal and sort of take them into my own life and, and just relate to them somehow. So today, um, we are going to do something really fun. I like playing with sort of oracle cards. This is like a deck of cards. This one's called uh, the Spirit Animal Oracle. And it's basically like a deck of cards and it's got all different animals. Um, here's a lion and here's a spider and an ant and a frog and a whale and a flamingo, and there's all sorts of different, really, really beautiful, beautiful cards. There's a parrot, look at that one, so pretty. And there's the dog, the dog keeps showing up for me today. Um, so anyways, what I thought would be fun is that we would pick a card and we would see what our animal of the day was and to just read a little bit about this animal and just see what some of the qualities and characteristics are and if we can relate them somehow to our life and or just to what's happening in the world. And so I thought it would just be a fun thing to do today, okay? So I've been kind of... Um, shuffling these cards and mixing them around. And I wish one of you was here to pick one for me, but um, I think what I'm gonna do is just put them all down, spread them out as best as I can. Oops, I'm gonna move the little booklet. And then I'm just gonna choose one, okay? And we'll just see what it is and see what it has to say. So, and you can actually just go research one if you come across one of these animals out in the wild, like I mentioned, my two experiences with a coyote and a fox. Um, if that happens to you, if you start dreaming about one animal, um, just, you know, research it, look it up or ask me. So this is the card I just chose, it just came out, okay? And oh, this is a rabbit spirit. How fun, a rabbit spirit animal. And the rabbit says, now is a lucky time. 
Now is a lucky time. What a great card. And the numbers, I always like to look at the numbers too. I always think that numbers kind of have meaning as well. These numbers are number 49. So the number four and nine. So what an awesome card to get. So now is a lucky time. And I'm just gonna read a little bit about the rabbit spirit animal, just because I think it would be fun to just quickly, I always like to keep my videos as short as I can. L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S, do you guys still do that too? I totally still sing the song and I'm a mama and I still sing the song. Okay, here it is, number 49. Rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. The oracle message says, a sunny meadow calls and rabbit spirit appears to lead you out of your dark warren, like your little hole, and into the light so that you can participate in a fertile and beautiful experience. It may seem safe below ground, but the magic happens when you come out and take the risk of being vulnerable and co-creating something new. Cool. That's kind of like what we were talking about the other day with how to be bold. Remember that? So you're being invited into a new life that you have no experience with. So we're, we're entering, you know, a place that we don't know already. So this is unchartered territory, but have no fear. Today is also a time to be fruitful and productive as you enjoy rabbit spirits, sunny and prolific energy. Oh, I love that. Rabbit spirits, uh, oh, I just reread the same line. At this time, whatever you intend to bring to life will find fertile ground. So, you know, if you have an idea, just go for it, okay? Um, there are no mistakes, really, when you are co-creating with spirit. So let new ideas spring to the surface, knowing that now is a lucky time of tremendous possibility. Oh my goodness, I really, really love this. Um, oh, and a, and a further message, protection message. Vulnerability is required of you now, even if you don't feel safe. What does vulnerability mean? Vulnerability means that you're showing parts of yourself that you don't feel really strong, that you might be embarrassed about, that you're not proud of. And so it's sort of exposing that part of you that it feels a little weak. Um, so it's saying it's, it's required, like you have to do that, even if it doesn't feel safe. Act as if you trust that it will be okay and soon you will see that you are okay. So you just have to believe, you have to know that you're gonna be okay. To create is to take risk. So at this fortunate fertile time, banish your fears and recognize the real security is in immersing yourself in the process of co-creation. So you can create your life. You have the power to co-create your life. It's your choice. You have lots and lots of choices. It's okay to admit that you really don't know how to deal with whatever is in front of you. This is where curiosity and not knowing can be a wonderful state of mind. Be playful now, admitting you are at the beginning of something. Come on out to frolic in the sun's nurturing light because it is time to birth something new. I love that so, so much. And I hope that you do too. And I hope you take this lucky, lucky rabbit that we picked for today and you take it with you tonight and for all of the days ahead of you. And just remember that I see you, I hear you, I am here for you and I love you. And I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Rabbit, rabbit, bye.